here's a good one. I'm a U.S. citizen living over living and working overseas. Do I still have to pay taxes in the U.S.? This is a, a basic question, but I'll explain it in great detail. The U.S. to be if you if you're a U.S. citizen, you are a U.S. tax resident by default. So you have to file a form 1040 and report your worldwide income. So if you have offshore, if you have foreign companies, you have to report it. If you have foreign bank accounts, you have to report it. If you earn a salary, you have to report it. If you um, get paid under the table, technically you should report it. If you have a company, you have to report it. You have to report all your income. Um, so you have to report everything. When you say, do I still have to pay taxes in the US? You really only pay taxes in the US if you're not paying taxes anywhere else. So if you're moving to Europe or even South America and you're paying taxes as an individual and you're paying over your U.S. rate, which is comparably low to most countries, to many countries, then you can claim a foreign tax credit. So if you're working in, in Spain and you pay 40% on your income, then you get to all your income's foreign source. And on your U.S. tax return, you claim a foreign tax credit for that 40000 you paid. And if your tax in the U.S. is under 40000 you basically get you don't pay any taxes in the U.S. and you'll carry forward the additional foreign tax credit you haven't used. If you're only paying 10% abroad, then you're going to get a credit for the 10% you paid and then pay the difference in the U.S. Additionally, many U.S. citizens working abroad utilize the foreign earned income exclusion. And this exclusion allows a U.S. citizen who is a bona fide resident or um, of, of another country or passes a physical presence test to exclude the first hundred and 15,000 of earned income. Uh, and, and that's this number is adjusted for inflation, so I never bother memorizing it, but it's about 120, 115,000 per year. So additionally, if you're making over or under 120,000, you won't pay any US taxes. So that's those are the two main avenues that people use to not be subject to double taxation because you always have to report all your income uh, in the in, in the U.S. if you're a U.S. citizen. Additionally, if you have foreign companies or foreign bank accounts, you have to report those as well. And those are complicated filings and also very costly if you don't uh, report them. So if that's the that's the case, you need help with that. You know, we do that too, of course. So that's like a long answer to a, a simple question that I could answer yes to. Hey, what's up? I hope you liked the video. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And if you have questions about this stuff or you didn't, you didn't get your question answered or you, you left wanting more, you can join the Telegram where I'm actually personally most active or the Discord group link below. And we do calls every Thursday for free. Or obviously, you can schedule a call with our team and we can help you that way. So thanks for being here. I hope only the best things happen to you and your business. And keep learning, keep working, and I'll see you on the next video.